We're Ruth and Dave Waterbury. We're the parents of two daughters. The older daughter is now our son, and that's brought us wonderful, wonderful experiences. We've been active with our schools. We've been active with our church. We're passionate about wood collecting. I think our parents need credit for, for our sense of philanthropy. We both grew up in homes where we're supporting, in my case, the college, in Dave's case, the church, um, was a given. Growing up, it was really all about the person. It was not about what color or skin they were or what their gender was or what their religion was. And from them and also from the places we spent time, it was really clear that everybody was important. Dave is a very uh, modest person. He's a good listener. He listens to others and responds well to them, but is very firm in his commitment to the issues he, he feels are important. And I've known the Waterberries for, oh, I think over 20 years. So we've been involved with things for Carleton College because Ruth and I are both alums. Their activism wasn't just a contribution or a donation or their name on a list. They're, they really were down in the trenches working on every issue that they became involved in. When I came out as trans, my dad's response was, thank goodness you don't want to leave the business. We were moving out of a house we had occupied for 30, 32 years. Two years, so it was, it was a big deal. She wanted to have, she said she wanted to stop by, so we met her for pizza about 10 o'clock at night. And in the conversation, we started talking and she said, I've got to tell you something. What she said was that I, I realized that I'm not a lesbian, that I'm really trans and it, it didn't bother us. Ruth's response was basically, okay, pass the pizza. I didn't say that. You did too. <laughs> I said that later. <laughs> later on, they talked about it as just, they met so many neat people getting involved in the gay and lesbian movement that they figured this was just another opportunity to meet and get involved in some really neat activities. We've now met a lot of people in the trans community as well, and they really are the Martin Luther Kings of our generation. Just exceptional people, and they're exciting, and they, they make you excited. The thing about Headwaters er, very early on was which Ruth went to one seminar and I went to a separate one, it was both as a result of being involved with PFLAG, parents, families, and friends of les lesbians and gays. Um, and I was quite taken that an organization of any kind would be willing to be that inclusive of, of offering help to an organization like PFLAG. Talk about changing or evolving. I do remember saying to Dave, it's a good organization, but they might be a little uh, progressive for you. She did say that to me. <laughs> they may be more liberal than you want to be. <laughs> and I don't, I, I think that's probably a good thing. Because uh, we need to, get pushed a little bit by people we respect uh, that may not believe just exactly the way we do. Uh, but we were impressed, and we've continued to be impressed. The thing that's hardest for us and most important is to learn to listen, especially listen to your children, which is very hard because we all are so um, consumed with the values that we want to instill in our children and so I think maybe that's the challenge to all of us. Listen to our children, listen to our neighbors, listen, listen to the world.